hello thank you for purchasing my excel sheets in this video I will explain to you how to prepare your reports and how to convert the primavera time schedule into this sheet we have here a very empty sheet nothing on it empty nothing on it look like she doesn't know anything doesn't do anything so what I'm going to do first I'll open my Promovera program this is a very traditional program this is my layout and this is how it look like what I will do I will remove this WPS and instead I'll put the activity codes so I'll put here the activity ID, activity name, start, finish. Uh, this could be the budget cost or the budget quantities if you have quantities. This column is whatever you want to distribute and monitor or control. And here is the activity code of my project okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one right click and copy and go to the from p6 file and just paste it to here what I need to do to do is another step and final step is to identify the activity codes with the activity code description because what 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 the program will show now is this code and instead I want to show the description of the code so from the Promovera I'll go to my activity codes and I'll start from the first level I'll just right click copy I'll go to the Excel from the drop list under the WPS one right click and paste and I'll do the same step of for all the activity codes I have this is for WPS number 2 then if WPS number 3 if I have more than one I'll click the first one then shift I'll click the last one then I'll copy I'll put it into my Excel sheet in order to tell it to change whatever CON to construction words for example I'll go to make it one by one I'll copy all of this one into my excel sheet this one this step I'll do it one one time only later on if I want to update the data or do everything uh, anything else I don't need to do this step once it is already made this is the last one copy I'll paste it here and that's it then I'll go to the data sheet here I'll find this section the first yellow section is linked to the uh, from p6 section so what I need to do I need to check that the last row in my sheet is getting the information okay so I'll drag I will drag one more row to check if there is any value once it is zero it means that I don't need to add any more value and I will delete this one So now all my data came from Promovera. I will go to the bar chart and I will click refresh all. And here is my data populated automatically. What I can see here, I can see the planned start, planned finish. This is from Promovera. Actual start, if I put it uh, from Promovera, it will show here as well. Actual finish this uh, you have two options here whether to leave it to the excel sheet to tell you what is the forecast finish 
or you put it by your hand and this is the day variance this is a planned percentage this is actual percentage this is the percentage variance between planned and actual this is the total quantity this is the remaining quantity this is planned quantity actual quantity and the quantity variance and this is a bar chart here let's go to the data sheet and check how it's for as we said before this portion the first yellow one is linked from p6 so if you are going to copy paste from p6 or microsoft project or whatever do not change it if you are going to do your your program for us from scratch you can edit it and put whatever you want here and supersede the formula already exists the, the second section is the orange section this will be used to make a recovery schedule I'll tell you later on this third section you need to fill it with the uh, standard uh, productivity rates for labor and the standard productivity rates for technician and if you want to use the material sheet just type here what is the total quantity delivered as of the data date important note all the market uh, red uh, column uh, rows uh, don't change anything here please this is already automated formula so no need to change anything here if you want to add a unit to your quantity add it here this is planned start and planned finish it is already linked from promovera however if you want to, to make it by yourself you can supersede the formula here you can put the actual start here and the actual finish here it's up to you to put the forecast finish or to leave it to the schedule if you put a start date here and put uh, the actual uh, figures uh, the program will give you a forecast compilation date all this red section it is already automated no need to do anything on it this orange section will be used for recovery schedule I talk about it later on and all the remaining red uh, this is automated no need to put anything on it now we're going to check how we can update our schedule we have here two or, th or three column to update this is the quantity so I have to update here the actual quantity done in week one week one from the period of 13 December to 19 December so I if I did here let's say 1000 meter 1000 meter and here I did it with 20 labor and 10 skilled this is only for example and I will drag this one little bit to give me some progress okay and I'll copy I'll make some changes let's say here I did 2500 with 30 labor and 15 skill and I will drag this one of course you have to make it uh, accurately to get accurate information or you can use a uh, VLOOKUP or whatever uh, option you have copy the progress from another Excel uh, sheet this is your progress so what I did here I updated the Excel sheet for the week one and week two actual progress let's go and check what happened to the part chart so the actual quantity is zero why because any changes I made in the data in order to come here I have to go to data and then click refresh all after I click refresh all all the other sheets here will be updated so no need to make it for for this sheet and for this sheet it is already updated what I'm going to see from here this is the planned percentage is 0.2 the planned percentage and the planned quantities is coming from the data date so here is my data date it is 25th January 2009 of course you are in 2014 now but I just bought it like this so if, if I change this one to February then I'll go to party chart I'll find that the planned percentage is 0.2 as we said before we need to go to data and they click refresh all in order to change the figures here and the planned quantity change it as well everything changed accordingly in the details I'll find here in the week one this is the planned 
is zero and actually I have some uh, uh, quantities and here up to week 10 I can increase the weeks if I want and this is the manpower this is the plan this is the actual this is the plan versus actual productivity this is the plan 0.3 actual 33.3 of course when you put accurate information this figures will be very accurate this, this is the, qu the the quantity this is the remaining quantity and this is the actual quantity the, it is a percentage uh, uh, the percentage of the quantity done ag uh, again is the planned and this is the quantity as an overall what is it what is the status of it here in this one we found the weekly quantity weekly quantity will show me what is the actual quantity done in week one what is the actual quantity done in week two of course if I need to change this one or add, add more uh, weeks I'll tell you how to do it uh, this is the variance between what is planned and what is actual and this is uh, this week manpower and this is this week productivity I can choose the filters from here whatever I want of course when, it, when I choose uh, I select the filter all the value will be changed accordingly 